Hi everyone, I'm Red Herring and I wanted to share with you um, a little bit about these uh, test cups that I received. Uh, I've had them for a while now, but uh, I didn't have permission to share them with all of you at that time. Um, but I do have different uh, shore ratings in these cups and the, I only have the three of these. And um, this is a 50, this is a 60, and this is a 70 shore rating. So uh, the 50 is the, the softest one and the 70 is the most firm, firmest one. Now these are from the Anagan Company. These are the Eva Cups and they are branded with their name right there. You can see really nicely, uh, made in the USA. Please do not contact them for a set of these. Uh, they were testing different silicones and diff different uh, shore ratings to see which ones they would like the best. And um, it just so happened they asked me if I would be interested in uh, giving them my thoughts about uh, the different shore ratings. So um, just recently they said that I could go ahead and talk about them and so I figured that I would make a video um, because I, I did ask permission if I could share them with another friend um, just because, uh, well, Jennifer, Jennifer Lewis, my friend, um, she also does reviews. If you haven't checked her out, you can look for her um, on YouTube as well. But uh, she was talking about uh, the Maluna Sport and the Yuki Cups and, and the difference between them um, in, in terms of how firm uh, the Maluna sport was. Um, so I said, well, I have these cups, so let me contact the company and ask them if they're okay with me sending them to you so that she could um, actually get to feel the different shores and since we know um, that these are 50, 60, and 70 shore, she could test them or compare them against uh, the Maluna although it is the Maluna's TPE and, and these are silicone. Um, but I wanted to just kind of introduce them before I send them off to her. Um, so if you did have uh, con comparison questions for me personally against the cups that I have, um, they won't be in my possession for a little while. Um, I, I asked Jennifer if she can send them back to me after she was done making her own comparisons, but she'll have them for a while and you can always ask her. I'm sure she wouldn't mind uh, doing comparisons for you to the cups that she has on hand. So I'm just going to kind of talk about uh, each one of them and what I thought and actually which one I chose uh, personally to use the most um, or which one I felt would work the best for, for me. Um, and again, please don't contact them asking for test cups because they're not going to get these in. It was just to see which firmness they wanted to continue on with and also um, the quality of the, the different silicones. Um, I know that they went with one popular one which was, uh, or they tested out with, uh, a popular one which is, it was a Dow Corning. Um, I think these are that silicone, but I, I can't say positively. Um, I guess I should ask before I did this video, but I'm trying to kind of hurry up because the boys are out of the house and this is the only free quiet time that I have. So, um, um, also, I forgot what I was going to say, but I just broke my tripod. So this is the 50 Shore Cup. It's the softest one that they uh, sent me. And it's actually the one that they ended up going with for their new model uh, menstrual cup. So this is the Eva cup in their new model. Um, I do have their original model. It's the one that I had been using for over a year now. Um, and I'm sure it's in one of... I have all my cups right here. Um, I'm not going to search for it. But uh, so I had purchased their aqua color, I think it's blizzard, um, blizzard color, not blizzard from World of Warcraft, but, uh, <laughs> and you can see that their name is molded, and that's on the inside, but you can see it 
uh, straight through the cup there and a whole bunch of lint too. Sorry I didn't clean my cup um, before or I didn't rinse it off of the lint before <laughs> I brought it on camera. Um, and they have all the measurements uh, in here on both sides. One, one side is a uh, in ounces and the other side is in milliliters. I'm not really going to go over the cup because this video was actually about the the um, other or the different shore ratings but this is their new model and I will be doing a video video about this model later but um, they did go with the 50 uh, shore rating for all of their menstrual cups and it's kind of the middle of the road I would say um, not too soft and not too firm they have that uh, high secondary room and that helps a lot when trying to get the, um, their cups to open um, but the back of the cup is nice and soft so it doesn't put a whole bunch of pressure on other areas um, that you don't need it to be in so I'm gonna just go ahead and put this down since it's not really what I'm trying to talk about but uh, 50 is what they went with for all of their menstrual cups um, and I thought that it would uh, my uh, review to them was that it would probably be a good all-around and um, starter cup for most people than any of the um, more firm cups because um, it's not going to put too much pressure on your urethra um, or give you cramps because of because of that firmness um, and there's always going to be um, people that this cup is too soft for and other people it's going to be too too firm for so this is kind of in the middle of the road and uh, so I did suggest staying with the 50 um, shore rating I'm pretty sure that uh, their original cup is also a 50 shore rating and I thought that that would probably just be the best to to stay right there really even um, on on that uh, softness firmness teeter-totter um, so then I also tried the 60 shore and I I did like it because it popped open easier um, not that I had problems with the 50 but it did just pop open kind of like how the lunette did for me um, and I could actually feel it pop open and I swear that I could hear it pop open um, while it was inside of me I don't know it might just be in my head but um, it has a really good springy um, rim to it but it did apply a bit of pressure for me or a little bit too much pressure for me and I could feel it every once in a while just um, not cramping I wasn't cramping but I felt like um, sometimes I couldn't empty my bladder all the way um, and um, I actually used the 60 for incontinence a few times so um, just you know when I was having coughing spouts and um, the 60 was really nice for that but they are not going to offer it uh, but I'm just telling you or I'm kind of elaborating on why I I didn't suggest the 60 for them I did feel like it was going to put too much pressure be too firm for a lot of people so um, that was my experience with the 60 and the 70 actually I had some hard times getting it um, inserted just because and I, I tried the punch down fold um, but it has it, it's so firm that my fingers started to kind of not that you hold it a long time but um, my fingers are kind of weak now I used to do a lot of massaging and my fingers are, are weak so when I hold it uh, for you know any length of time my fingers kind of got weak and and would release it I couldn't uh, use the punch down fold I did try to but I really couldn't do that usually with a smaller cup I, I can't use the punch down fold uh, I just can't get it to pop open as easy so I use um, the U fold and even right now just holding it like this my fingers are feeling like it's gonna um, kind of give out um, so holding it like this I uh, went to go insert it and it popped open and I didn't touch myself yet or I didn't touch the opening to my vagina yet but I felt like the wind of it 
on myself. That's how close it was. And if it was touching me, it probably would have hurt just getting snapped right on on my vagina just from that popping of the rim. So I was like, you know, it might open really easy and everything, but uh, just inserting it, if you release it too soon, it might give a lot of people um, a, a problem uh, just having it snap at them. So I thought that that probably wasn't going to be a very good idea. Um, I, maybe some people like that uh, really, really firm cup, but um, I didn't think that this would be... Um, as sought after or you know as uh, popular as the uh, 50 would be I just think still I feel that the 50 would be the best um, first time use or go to uh, kind of firmness uh, for most people so and I keep saying that don't I um, so that was the 70 and the 70 kind of feels like the Amy cup the Amy cup felt um, really uh, firm like this um, and again I have them all behind me and I guess I should just go ahead and dig a couple out so that I could do some comparisons and let you know um, approximately where these cups land on um, uh, compared to some other cups so I'll be right back so here's the 50 again and um, here's a love your body now this is a large size love your body but I'm just going to compare the um, rims of it. So this is the 50 Eva cup and oops just putting it between uh, the palms of my hands and you can see a, a bit of a comparison between the two. So again this is just the rim and then here is the 60 Eva cup 60 sure and here is a lunette large just the rim sorry I'm using my tablet not and usually doing this kind of a comparison I use my regular camera and I'm filming in my living room uh, just because my bedroom is so dark right now and then the 70 Shore Eva Cup, and this is the Amy Cup Large, and just the rims. Let me see. I don't want to hold it off to the side because then it won't be even. So that's pretty similar right there. So those were the three different shore ratings, 50, 60, and 70 shore rating, two lazy dogs, one stitch, and a short introduction to their brand new um, mold style of the Eva cup. Uh, I will be doing a video about that cup later. Um, I'm really sorry for those that have been putting in requests. I'm, my husband's home. It's so hard to video. Um, sometimes I try to do a video before he or while he's working outside building. Uh, he's building me a, a a raised garden right now. Um, but the saws and the grinding and the, the the noise, the noise. But I can't complain because he's doing it for me. So I'm really gonna try to get back into this, but it's hard. It's, it, it's really hard to, to get any quiet time. So um, uh, these are going to be shipped out to my buddy. And if you have any comparison questions, ask her first because they won't be in my possession. And um, I hope she has fun with them. I, I'm sure she's going to be surprised at the 60 and 70. Um, but I'm interested in seeing her videos and uh, what she comes out with. And there's my phone, so sorry. So, uh, I guess if you don't have any questions, don't ask me. <laughs> ask Jennifer Lewis. Uh, no, no, no. Um, that's all I have for you for now. Uh, until I see you next time, take care.